Abbey Flexi Capture import profiles creation. We'll talk about image import profile creation, which includes hot folder import profiles, email import. Uh, we can set up a scanning profile. So we'll get into some of the details in this PowerPoint. And where this work takes place is in the system setup and monitoring position in the workflow. So uh, apart from the actual production workflow, uh, this is done in the project setup station. And you can think of manual ingestion of images into FlexiCapture as being performed with a scan station, whereas automatic ingestion happens with in, uh, ingestion via um, uh, email ingestion or monitoring a folder or an FTP site. Um, and not mentioned here is API ingestion, which I would also put into the category of automatic ingestion. First off, hot folders. Very popular feature, uh, very easy to set up. A hot folder is a shared folder that um, you can simply place images in, and the images are picked up and brought into a FlexiCapture batch. And the nature of a hot folder is it can point to different batch types. So each batch type can have a different workflow or set of pre-processing settings. So for instance, if you've got some images that are of poor quality coming from one source, you, may, you might want to set up a special hot folder with special image pre-processing settings, or maybe you turn on data verification to give it a little bit more uh, attention than images that are cleaner. And you enable hot folders in the administration and monitoring console. To set up an image import profile, you go to the project setup station, and it's a menu command that really launches a wizard and asks first, which kind of image import profile do you want to set up? So importing uh, the a mail import profile um, allows you to keep tabs on a dedicated mailbox and import the attachments and or the message bodies. So I've created a special layout that reads data from message bodies as well as the image attachments. So you've got that capability. And this is just reiterating that you want to create a dedicated email address um, and that the processing stations that perform import should be launched under that user account. And it is possible to retrieve the sender's email address and subject via FlexiCapture registration parameters. So that's accessible information, uh, information that you can work with, and perhaps you want to do some downstream uh, scripting, uh, post FlexiCapture scripting where you can send a response. Um, you know, you might want to include the data that you captured. So a lot of possibilities there. And you can access uh, different data. Um, so different formats are coming out, PDF-A formats uh, that embed, uh, say, invoice information in machine-readable XML format. So that's accessible to you as well. You also have the capability of uh, going to the Image Import Profile dialog and setting up a scan station profile, a scanning profile. And this is really um, just for project debugging and testing. It works only from the project setup station, but that enables you to scan directly to the project setup station. We talked about uh, hot folder creation, email ingestion. Um, just a reminder that when you set up image import profiles, you need to go to the administration and monitoring console to turn on image import profiles. It's kind of an all or nothing thing. Um, so, but that's a step that you can't uh, skip. And whenever you can, it's a great idea to automate whatever is possibly automated in a capture workflow. So having automated ingestion is a great idea and um, will speed up your overall processing.